this starts the next section, 5.5, five, the ambiguous case. So, so far, we've talked about proving triangles congruent with side, 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 angle, side. Both these scenarios, you're going to use the law of cosines. And then if you have an angle side, angle triangle, you're going to use the law of sines. This right here, if I have this leg of 5, this leg of 4, and an angle of 27, this is considered a side side angle triangle because the angle is not in between the two given sides. This is called the ambiguous case. Ambiguous meaning two meanings. So it's the ambiguous case because there are two possible triangles. I could have this obtuse triangle where I have 27, 5, and 4. Or I could actually pivot this leg out over here. And this could still be 4, this could still be 5, and this could be 27. So there are really two possible triangles. One is this triangle here, and then the second one is this black triangle here. So when you're given a side-side angle triangle, you're still going to use the law of cosines to solve, but you're going to have potentially no solutions, one solution, or two solutions. Okay, so I'm going to use the law of cosines to solve this triangle, and I'm actually going to use a quadratic formula as well. And as you know, when you take the quadratic, you have um, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared over 4. You're going to have plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And this is where your two possible solutions come in. If the square root is a 0, then you're only going to have one solution. Or if this value right here is a negative, you're not going to have any solutions. Everybody remember quadratics? So ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And then that's the quadratic formula. OK, so back to the side-side angle triangle. I'm going to use the law of cosines. This is the side opposite the 27 degrees. This, If this is angle z, this is lowercase z. Side y, so I'm going to take the side opposite the 27 degrees and say 4 squared is equal to 5 squared plus z squared minus 2 5z cosine of the angle opposite the 4, so cosine of 27 degrees. Right. I have one equation with one variable, but I have the variable in two places, so I need to set it up like a quadratic. So here I have 16 is equal to 25 plus z squared minus 10z and then cosine of 27 on my calculator is 0.89. So the cosine of 27 is 0.89. I'm going to set it equal to 0, subtract 16 from both sides to get 9 plus z squared minus 10 in times 8.9 is minus 8.9z. Okay, and then I'm just going to put it in order. 0 is equal to z squared minus 8.9z plus 9. Okay, then once I have my equation in quadratic form, 0 equals z squared minus 8.9z plus 9. I'm going to I have it in quadratic form. I'm going to use a quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. I take my values for a, b, and c, which will be the coefficient in front of z squared, which will be my a, my b, and my c. So I plug those into my quadratic equation. z is equal to 8.9 plus or minus the square root of negative 8.9 minus 4ac over 2a. 8.9 plus or minus square root of 43.2 over 2, which is 8.9 plus or minus 
over 2 and that gives me two solutions 7.7 .7 or 1.16 and those solutions could create two possible triangles so I could have this triangle right here 4, 5 and the shorter length 1.16 with an angle of 27 or a second triangle 4, 5 and 7.7 .7. So again, three ways to prove triangles congruent, side, 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 angle, side. Both these ways use the law of cosines. Angle, side, angle, you're going to use the law of sines. And then there's a fourth case, which is a side, side, angle, triangle. That is the ambiguous case. There will be possibly zero solutions, one or two solutions. You're going to use the law of cosines to solve. Take your equation, put it in a quadratic form, and take those values, plug it into the quadratic formula, and then take those solutions and create two possible triangles.